Well, I'm excited. Between new gameplay footage at the state of play and playing the demo released shortly after, we have a ton of new stuff to be excited about. And yes, not only by content will Rebirth be bigger than the remake, but they're adding in new combat features that are kind of a big deal. So let's talk about some Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. No! As you probably know, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth is inching ever closer. With a planned release date at the end of this month, on February 29th, we have plenty of time to finish up the other games we may be in the midst of. Picking up where we left off from the remake, we leave Midgar to continue our journey to stop Sephiroth and journey out into the surrounding areas. And from what was showcased, it looks like we have at least six zones and maybe more based on the map, displaying the Meridian Ocean as a region, as well as the North Woods farther north. This kind of reminds me of the map of Final Fantasy XVI, which if you're not familiar with, it isn't quite an open world, but it's damn near close. There are load times between zones, but for the most part when you're actually in a zone, it feels like a traditional open world landscape. And this is big news, because Final Fantasy VII Remake allowed you to revisit certain areas, but they still felt pretty linear. So if we're getting something similar to Final Fantasy XVI, then this is going to be sick, and a major update. Now in the demo we didn't get an open zone but a very important story segment based in Cloud and Tifa's hometown, Nibelheim, actually offering some very crucial backstory to Sephiroth, which I was a big fan of. Also, kudos to Squaresoft for not shying away from the demos. We've seen some tank in the past, but that doesn't stop them. I love that. Speaking of the demo, beyond witnessing an exciting portion of the main story and playing as Sephiroth, we got to try out a new major combat system that I mentioned earlier, which is synergy abilities. This is like a limit break, but utilizing two characters to do so and it was awesome and definitely heavy hitting. The best part about this new system is that all the synergy abilities are unique to who you pair them with, offering up even more complex gameplay and new playstyles. And it comes with its own skill tree and can be leveled up and reset at any time with each individual character utilizing the new relationship level feature. Depending on your choices and interactions with your team, not only does that level up your synergy capabilities, but also allows for you to change up the story from how things went down in the original. I'm hoping it's nothing too major in terms of changing up the story, but I have faith it probably won't be. And they did showcase some game footage of Cloud convincing Tifa to come to the Gold Saucer with him, and they have their own major dialogue within that particular path. That's pretty damn detailed, and just might make me do a couple playthroughs to see what other outcomes might happen. Which leads me to my next point, which is additional content beyond the story. They confirm there's going to be more content than the remake, and that's between zones, minigames, and deeper quest lines. Now I know I'm not the only one who loved the Gold Saucer back in the day. With all the fun minigames and things to do, well, they brought them back, and are adding in some new things to do too. And a little head nod to the original, like a polygon graphic sequence. In addition to experiencing the Gold Saucer in all its glory, they've added a whole new card game called Queen's Blood. That allows you to collect cards and build decks, etc. Hmm... Went anyone? Now let's jump back into the hands-on business. I want to talk about some of my thoughts and experience with the demo. Right off the bat, they went and hit us with a nostalgia bomb. Walking through Nibelheim and its classic theme kicking in was amazing. It felt like a true recreation of that experience I felt so many years ago. Themes in the area! All children, return to your homes! And that's probably one of my favorite aspects of Final Fantasy VII, was the music. They even mentioned over 400 new tracks will be in Rebirth, and they're focused on pairing it with your environment. Now one thing that left me with a little bit of an eyebrow raise is the traversal, and walking over, and more specifically, down things. Going up feels pretty decent, but when you fall or step down, I could not get over how clunky it looked. So I hope that's something they tweak and get a more natural feeling. But let's talk about the fun stuff. Combat. They're sticking with the style they introduced in the remake, but something about it feels like it's flowing a little bit better. And it could be that I just hadn't played remake since it first came out, but with the pairing of Sephiroth and Cloud in the demo, switching between characters and casting abilities was smooth as butter. And I felt no downtime. And eventually once I worked off the rust, I stopped using the slow menu to cast abilities. And of course, they also didn't let up on the cinematic combat. In fighting the mini boss towards the end of the demo, there were multiple cinematic events, as well as the new synergy ability. And all that did was make me want to keep playing and experiment by the end of it. Now I got one more final thought before we wrap this up. I am curious about how we pick up where we left off from the remake. Will they have basic starter gear? Will we be level 1? Do we have any starting currency? And most importantly, how about our skills and abilities? 
These questions, unless I missed it, were not answered in the showcase. But if I had to bet, I'd say most of this stuff will be reset. Maybe a few moves left over. The idea of that is slightly disappointing, because I love the idea of picking up where I left off, especially for those who haven't played the first and are coming back for both right in a row. If it were me, I'd want to retain my progression for sure. And now let me know what you guys think about that, I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions. And just real quick, I want to thank everybody for tuning in, and for those who keep coming back. I really appreciate it. I love games, and I want to keep talking about them forever, so if you want to join me on my journey, hit that subscribe button. As always, happy gaming, and I'll see you guys in the next one.